everyone, it's Renee from the DIY Day, and in this video, I'm going to share an easy way to use those leftover paper scraps from previous projects. For this project, you'll need paper scraps, flat cardstock, paper trimmer, glue, folded cardstock, and these are four and a half by six and a half. You'll need washi tape or scotch tape, scissors as well as a die cut machine and a die cut heart. Now I do ha have an alternative method if you don't have a die cut machine and I'll get to that in just a bit. Let's get started on this card. With your paper trimmer or scissors, cut the strips to half inch width. Like The length of the strip will eventually be trimmed down as well, but we'll worry about that later. And here are my strips. I did three of each color because I'm making three cards, but if you're only doing one card, you only need one strip. So I'm gonna put these aside and get to the next portion of the card. What I'm doing next is I'm gonna run my heart die cut onto this flat cardstock. And then I'm gonna secure it with a piece of washi tape, just so it doesn't move when I run it through the machine. And there's the results. For anyone who doesn't have a die cut machine or a die cut heart, here's an alternative. This heart is available on my blog and it's free and the link to it is in the caption below and it fits a four and a half by six and a half card. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna print it out and then cut the outline. And then what you're gonna do next is you're gonna take a flat piece of cardstock, place it right on top, and then trace the heart. Once the heart is traced, you're gonna cut out the inside portion of the heart to create this look. Anyway, I wasn't sure what color I was going for, but I did three cutout hearts in black, craft, and white. So I'm going to put those aside and start working on my strips. I'm not sure what color order I'm going for just yet, so I'm going to speed up this process until I find the one that I like. I think I like this color combination the best. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up the strips. Like so. And then I'm gonna tape them together. And the reason why I've decided to align these and use tape instead of just gluing them to the card is because I wanna make sure that the strips are aligned and not crooked. And with my luck, they would be crooked. So, to avoid that, I'm going to tape them together first. Now that it's all taped together, I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to put it aside and bring out my flat card, the one that we did the die cut on. And I'm gonna place a thin amount of glue all the way around the heart. And then the glue I'm gonna be using for around the heart is the Tombow Mono Aqua Liquid Glue. Then I'm gonna grab the strips and place them down. Then I'll flip the card over and make sure they all line up. Then with my scissors, I'm gonna cut off all the excess strips of paper. For the last part, I'm gonna grab my folded cardstock, apply glue to the entire front of the card,
and then I'm going to place the flat card right on top. Now I haven't decided if I'm going to put a greeting here on the heart or somewhere down here, but as of right now I like the way it looks just the way it is, so I think I'm probably going to leave it just like this. I hope you've enjoyed this simple way of utilizing your leftover paper scraps. If so, please like and subscribe below. And for more tips, tricks, and ideas, please visit my blog. Link is in the description. Thank you!